Are you looking for the best gaming laptop 2023? You've come to the right place. Hi, welcome back to PC Builder. I'm Jason. Now in this video, we're going to cover what you need to know to buy the best gaming laptop in 2023. Then we'll go over specific picks for best gaming laptop at every single budget level. Remember, if you get value out of the video, please give it a like as it really helps out the channel. And of course, subscribe, click that bell icon. That way you get notified when we release cool content. With that, Let's jump into it. The number one most important thing to focus on when getting the best gaming laptop 2023, it's the graphics card, also called the GPU. Now, unfortunately, it's also the most confusing part because of how many GPU models are out there and the confusing naming schemes. Luckily, I can give you the edge in figuring it out. First, be careful. Even laptop GPUs with the same name might have different performance because they're given more power, called Total Graphics Power or TGP. So an RTX 3070 laptop with an 80 watt TGP is going to perform far less than an RTX 3070 laptop with a 130 watt TGP. Nvidia used to call these lower power GPU versions Max Q and required it to be labeled, but unfortunately now they just require the laptop makers to list the TGP on their spec sheet. Sometimes you'll see this as two numbers being added together like 125 watts plus 25 watts. Just add them both together for the TGP, so 150 watts in this case. AMD laptop GPUs note lower power versions with an S at the end of the GPU name. So a 6800M is the high TGP version, while the 6800S is the lower power version. We're only going to consider the high power version of laptop GPUs, except for the thin and light category, where we will look at lower power versions to come in the more portable laptops. Secondly, a lot of laptop buyers they get really confused between the desktop version of a GPU, say an RTX 4090, and the laptop version. Now, often these GPUs, they only share a name, with the specs being so different between them, they really shouldn't be called the same thing. Sometimes they're different chips entirely, and of course, they have way lower power. So avoid the confusion, and don't even bother comparing the laptop to desktop GPUs of the same name. So what laptop GPU should you be looking to buy? I've compiled as many benchmarks as I could for all the currently available laptop GPUs and some that are still coming into a single chart to give you a rough estimate of performance. Laptop GPU data, it's very difficult to compare for a lot of reasons. So take this as a general gaming laptop buying guide advice rather than an exact performance chart. At the very high end, an RTX 4090 gaming laptop or RTX 4080 gaming laptop will give you the highest current level of performance and is good for very high FPS at 4K or 1440p, but it's a total waste of money for a 1080p gaming laptop screen. Going down to the high end, we have laptop GPUs that will give you good performance at 4K or high FPS at 1440p or super high FPS at 1080p, which include the RTX 3080 Ti, RTX 4070, RX 6800M, M or RTX 3080. The next tier of GPUs only lose a little bit of performance and include the RTX 3070, RX 6800S, and the upcoming RX 7600M, as well as the RTX 4060. Going down now, we're closer to a solid 60 plus FPS at 1440p in most titles, at high settings, or very high FPS at 1080p, with the RX 6700M, RTX 3060, and RX 6650M. Now there's a big drop off now in the budget tier, and with these GPUs were focused on getting 60 to 90 FPS at 1080p in most titles at higher settings, which include the estimated performance for the RTX 4050, RTX 3050 Ti, and RTX 3050. From here, we see a pretty big drop to the RX 6500M, the GTX 1650 Ti, and GTX 1650, and we're looking at about 50 FPS at medium settings in most titles, with higher FPS and easier to run games like CSGO, or if we drop the settings down a bit too low. Now that we've got our GPU, what CPU should we get for the best gaming laptop? This only really makes a difference for higher tier GPUs, as any of the recent CPUs by Intel or AMD will be fine to get the most performance for your laptop GPU. If you do have a choice of two laptops at about the same price with the same GPU at the same TGP, here's how the CPUs stack up for gaming only. At the very high end, we have the 13th gen Intel CPUs and the new Ryzen 7000 mobile CPUs. These are slightly faster than the 12th gen Intel CPUs, which are a tiny bit faster than the Ryzen 6000 CPUs. Slightly behind that are the Ryzen 5000 mobile CPUs and Intel 11th gen CPUs. At the more budget level, you'll find a mix of Ryzen 4000 CPUs as well as Intel 10th and even 9th gen CPUs. But because the budget GPUs are so much slower, it really doesn't matter for gaming performance. Now, modern gaming laptops use something called Optimus which routes the dedicated GPU output through the smaller integrated graphics on the CPU itself 
before going to the laptop screen. Now, while this saves power, great for a laptop, Optimus can reduce FPS by up to 15% when using the fastest GPUs. Many gaming laptops now come with something called a MUX switch, that's M-U-X, which instead routes the dedicated GPU output directly to the laptop screen, saving that FPS bottleneck. There are newer versions of Optimus called Advanced Optimus, and this basically does it automatically when gaming and is increasingly available on the newer gaming laptops. While this doesn't really impact lower end laptops very much, the faster the GPU of your laptop Laptop, the more important it is to get this feature. How much RAM do you need in the best gaming laptop? Well, for gaming only, 16 gigabytes, that's your target, and that's what most models come with. While this amount will also be fine for streaming or light creator workloads like video editing, I'd recommend at least 32 gigabytes for professional level video editing workloads, though only the more expensive models come with that. For ultra budget gaming laptops, you can get away with eight gigabytes of memory. However, just know that you're losing up to 20% of your GPU performance by not going with 16 gigabytes instead due to the RAM running in single channel. All right, let's talk about the display panel, that screen that comes with your laptop. Today, the fastest gaming laptops come with high refresh rate 4K panels, and some of them are now OLED which has incredible contrast and HDR, but they're much more expensive. High refresh rate 1440p and 1080p panels are also still around, starting at 120 or 144 hertz, which you can think of as FPS, and going up to a total overkill of 300 hertz and higher at 1080p. Remember, you need a higher end GPU to get good FPS at 4K, and a good mid-range one to do higher FPS at 1440p, so consider both the GPU power and the screen resolution when buying your gaming laptop. Also important to note that the resolution your laptop comes with, that's the max it will go. You cannot turn a 1080p laptop screen up to 4K, but you can turn a 4K one down to 1440p or 1080p. Let's briefly talk about battery life as well. Battery life is not really something that you focus on when buying the best gaming laptop, though if you're looking for a thin and light, it can be more important. When you're gaming, it's really, really important to game plugged in so you get the max performance out of your GPU, otherwise you probably will notice stuttering and much lower FPS. Let's jump into the product recommendations, which are all gonna be listed down in the video description below. And I'm gonna update those links regularly with the best deals, so check them out for current pricing and availability. As is usually the case, while you're gonna pay an early adopter premium to get the newest laptops, you can get some great deals on last year's models. So check out those links in the video description. Ones with fire emojis are great deals, and two fire emojis means incredible deal for the performance. Ultra high performance gaming laptops, that's right, bring your wallet, but you will get the performance for it. And we're talking about laptops with an RTX 4090 at full power at a 175 watt TGP paired with the fastest CPUs right now. So let's take a look. Four thousand dollars for the MSI Raider series. Now the MSI Raider, this particular series of laptops, always competes to not just be among the top, but the absolute top in terms of gaming performance on all the benchmark charts. That's why it's 17 inch, it's got an RTX 4090 again, 175 watt, 32 gigs of DDR5, so it's great for creators as well. Two terabytes, very fast NVMe SSD. And of course, it's got the i9-13980HX. So not just the 13900HX, it's got the absolute fastest bin laptop CPU right now from Intel with it. Now, this is back ordered right now. Just know that that's kind of common. So this one actually not that badly right now. It looks like I'm about eight or nine days out. Fine, I would definitely take a look at this one at Newegg if I wanted the absolute pinnacle of gaming performance. Now coming down just a little bit, still amazing performance, but coming down just a tiny little bit, we've got the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 17. Now this is a phenomenal gaming laptop. Asus makes a great lineup for the SCAR. The SCAR 17 have a higher TGP than the SCAR 15, just FYI. Now this is a 240 Hertz, 1440p, you know, QHD screen, RTX 4090, but but this one's got a Ryzen 9 7945HX. Now we don't have all the performance data yet on this CPU, but we know this is the high end of the Ryzen 7000 mobile CPUs. We expect it to somehow outcompete the 3980HX CPU. We'll have to see if that actually doesn't benchmark, but it'll be very, very close. It's gonna be great on battery life. Ryzen is much better than 13th gen Intel in terms of overall battery life, if that's important to you. But 32 gigs of RAM, again, great for creators. One terabyte on the SSD, you can always add more storage in the future. A laptop I would look for actually available right now if you want to get something and go. If you're looking for kind of more value, if you will, just coming coming down on the CPU a little bit, but still getting that RTX 4090 laptop, $3299 right now for the Lenovo Legion 7 Pro, really
really, really good deal. It's got the 13900HX, so it's not the super high end Intel CPU, but it's still one of the highest in CPUs. One terabyte overall. This is about the price range you're looking for. Anywhere about $3,200, $3,300, up to $4,000. And $4,000 gets you the absolute pinnacle of performance. Well, this is going to get you very, very high performance. Let's jump over to RTX 4080 laptops. Remember, everything is linked down in the video description. Check those out for the current deals and availability. We update those regularly. $2,800 for an Alienware M16 with an RTX 4080, 12 gigabytes of VRAM on the GPU itself, 32 gigs of system RAM in this one as well. Let me tell you why I think this is really the sweet spot, the 4080s. If you have the money to spend and you want high performance gaming and you can't quite quite afford going up to a 4090. I think these are great. 12 gigs of VRAM is going to give you kind of the future proofing that you need is more demanding games to come out. You're not going to have to worry about running out of VRAM and things like that. Obviously, we've got the i9-13900HX super high end CPU, 32 gigs. You can also configure this however you want. One note I will say about buying a 4080 series laptop, I would make sure to get a QHD screen. What's a QHD screen? It's basically 1440p resolution is the common verbiage for it. Although on laptops, it's 2560 by 1600 rather than 2560 by 1440. And this one comes with a 240 hertz version of it, which I really like. You can go down to 165, I'd say at 240 personally. I don't necessarily think 1080p is where you wanna be. You're probably gonna be driving so many more frames at 1440p. That's where I would go, honestly. I think that's gonna be your best experience. But if you're super into like Valorant and you wanna drive like, you know, 480 hertz, you can switch over to the 1080p screen instead. Overall, this comes with like the, the Cherry MX low profile mechanical keys. This is like the high end of gaming laptops for RTX 4080, $2,800, pretty good price. Coming down a little bit, we've got like the HP Omen 17. Now HP has several different laptops. The 17 is the high TGP version. So those are the ones you really want if you wanna push everything. As you go down to the 16 and the 15, the, the TGP comes down until the 15, I think are pretty much just the max Q, the lower TGP versions of all these GPUs. But here you go, you got an i9-13900HX, you've got the RTX 4080. And this one's a little bit more stripped down, just 16 gigs of DDR5, slightly faster DDR5, but only 16 gigs of it and only about 500 gigs of SSD space. Now, like the Alienware one, you can click the customize button. You can customize the rest of this. You can add 32 gigs of RAM to it. You can actually, for only $40 more, you can go up from 165 Hertz, 1440p to you know 100 to 240 Hertz, 1440p. I'd probably click that option in a heartbeat, obviously. And then you can add some more space as well. But $240, these are also really, really good laptops to take a look at. And then finally, especially for those of you who are just super into high, high FPS shooter games, and you're looking for that 1080p. So this 360 Hertz display, the Gigabyte AR 17H. Now these are their high performance gaming laptops. Again, high TGP on these things, 4080. It comes an i7 13700H, so slightly less performative, but still very, very, very good. And if you're looking to save a couple of dollars and really maximize, you know, Valorant, maybe Overwatch 2, or those other kinds of shooters where you can drive these types of frame rates with this hardware, this is another good one to look at. Now we drop into the high end of the mid range. So we're looking at laptops here that are going to go anywhere from about $1,400, $1,500 up to about $2,100, $2,200. And the kind of GPUs we're gonna find here are like the RTX 4070 out there, but we've also got like the RTX 3080 Ti, the 3080, the 3070 Ti, all that kind of stuff crammed in here. And we're gonna find a really interesting mix of current generation laptops that are just coming out where you're gonna pay a little bit more of a price premium for kind of all the newness to them. And then you're also gonna find good deals on maybe last year or even two year ago models that still have really, really good performance and you can find great deals. Let's start at the kind of higher end of this. So this is a G16, this is a Dell G16, really, really good high TGP on it. RTX 4070, this is an eight gigabyte card with an i9-13900HX. Overall, Dell's G16, G15 lineup, really, really good in terms of gaming, in terms of overall build quality to it. This one comes with a one terabyte NVMe, 32 gigs of RAM. Again, you can come down a little bit on this. This one's uh, $2,100, kind of the upper bound of what you're looking at here. And then it comes with that 1440p screen that we talked about, 165 hertz. Well, it's 2560 by 1600. Really, really good deal if you want current gen hardware. If you want 13th gen, if you want to make sure you get an RTX 47 because you like DLSS3 or frame generation, go for that. 
At the same time, just be aware that you can find deals like this. This is the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 15. This is not the highest TGP of the 3080, but it is a high TGP version of the 3080 with a Ryzen 9 5900HX, Ryzen 5000 CPU, 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, one terabyte. This is gonna give you still extremely good performance, $1,500 instead. So you're losing maybe just a little bit of performance here to save another, what, $600 or so. I think these deals are really, really good. The one caveat I will say is they're probably gonna sell out in the next couple of months. So if you want a 3070 Ti, check out those links in the description. We will keep putting in those deals as they come up. Now dropping down to kind of the mid range and the lower part of the mid range, before we get to the really budget laptops, we've got like RTX 3070s here, the 3060s, high power 3060s, as well as the RX 6700 and maybe the 6800S, anywhere from a thousand up to $1,500. And right now, at least in the early part of 2023, I would forget about the 4060s. The RTX 4060 has launched, but the prices are ridiculous and the performance is not that much better than an RTX 3060. So just get the 3060 and pocket the cash, buy yourself a bunch of games. I would focus on something like the Dell G15 here, $1,300. This comes with a Ryzen 6800H, super performant Ryzen 6000 series uh, mobile CPU, really, really good on battery life too, by the way. And it comes with an RTX 3070, really, really good. I believe this is a 130 or 140 watt TGP on this high TGP 3070 and 16 gigs of RAM. One terabyte NVMe drive. I will tell you about these Dell G15s. Do not get the 120 hertz screen. That's the cheaper option here. They're not good. I know they, I, I've heard that they fixed it, uh, the issue with it, but just don't take the chance. Just get the 165 hertz, 1920 by 1080 full HD screen on it. They're really, really good displays. They've been tested. Overall, $1,300. If you want a really smoking great laptop right now, this is a good choice. And then we got like the Acer Nitro 5, another high TGP. Now this is an RTX 3060 laptop, 3060 laptop for $1,199. So about $100 less. Now you get a little bit less storage space. You get the i7 12700H, still very performative CPU. Overall, these are really good laptops. I know Acer updated the BIOS on most of them to increase the TGP on these laptops up to that kind of max. I think it's 140 watts on these ones. $1,199, if you find a good RTX 3060 deal, you can find 3060 laptops cheaper, but they're all the lower TGP ones. You're getting a lot less performance out of it. Do yourself a favor and make sure you get one of the good ones. Uh, speaking of one of the good ones, another good deal here, the Asus Tough Gaming A15. I've often seen this as low as like $1,120, but right now $1,219, still pretty good price on it. Again, this is the high power version, the A15. There is an Asus Tough Dash that looks identical that is the low power version. Don't get that one unless you're looking for thin and light ultra portable. This is the one you want for max gaming performance. This comes with a 300 hertz full HD display on it. Ryzen 6800H, you got a lot of these Ryzen 6800 H's out there. RTX 3060, full power one, by the way, and 500 gigs of storage space. 1219, pretty good price. All right, before we jump into the budget laptops under $1,000, let's quickly go through thin and light. So this is for folks who want portability over performance. So you're a college student, you gotta take this to class, you gotta take this to work, all those kinds of things, right? Now you're gonna trade off a little bit of performance in that GPU, because these are gonna have lower power, because obviously they're gonna have less cooling, there's just less stuff in them, basically, if you can think about it that way. But you're gonna get that extra portability, and you're gonna get that longer battery life. I used to recommend Razer quite a bit. I haven't done so for a while and I looked at their laptops again this year and they are just completely overpriced in my estimation. They make great products, don't get me wrong, but I just don't think the value is there. If you love Razer, go ahead and buy one. I think they're great. But if you're looking for something more reasonably priced, let's start off with the Asus ROG Zephyrus lineup. I, this is where I have come to for thin and lights, kind of all things thin and light. The Zephyrus 16 with a 165 Hertz screen, it's got a 3070 Ti, one terabyte Gen 4 SSD in it, 16 gigs of memory. It's got an i9 in it. Really, really good performer for $1,600. If you want something on the go that's kind of be, gonna be able to do everything you want to a certain extent and still have that portability, this is definitely one that I would have on my radar. For just a little bit less money, if you don't mind going AMD, you can actually get a little bit more performance here with the Asus ROG Zephyrus 14, even smaller, even more portable, 120 Hertz, and it's got an AMD processor in it with a Radeon RX 6800S, one terabyte, it's all, it's all white, 
cute. It's got the camera in it. Really, really great little laptop. We actually have one of these with an RTX 3060. I wish I'd gotten this one instead because the 3060 just doesn't have enough oomph at the lower power for me to, to drive the, uh, the 1440p screen. I kind of wish I'd gone this direction instead. Probably made a little bit of a mistake there. So I would highly recommend you check this out. Again, if you want that portability and you want that level of performance. Down to under $1,000 and here again, we're looking for GPUs like the RTX 4050, the 3050 and 3050 Ti, the RX 6500M, and then at the very bottom of the tier, we're looking for the GTX 1650 Ti and 1650. Refer back to that performance chart at the very beginning if you wanna see how they all stack up against each other, because it will come into play. And oftentimes you can try and save $30 and you end up with a far worse GPU. So just make sure you focus on checking out those links down in the video description, because I will have vetted all of those, and those will be the best deals that I can find right now. Let's jump into what I think is a really good deal right now. We've got the Omen Gaming Laptop. Now this is a Ryzen 6600H, a relatively new CPU with an RTX 3050. Pretty good performer and 16 gigs of RAM. Remember, 16 gigs is so important. As soon as you cut that in half to eight gigs, just to save a little bit of money, you'll lose 20% of the performance off of your GPU. Just remember that. It has to do with RAM running in dual channel versus single channel. If you want to find out more, check out our best RAM video on how that works. And this comes with, you know, 500 gigs of storage space. That's off another spot that laptop manufacturers will cut in order to make you, you know, try and save 20 or 30 bucks here or there. Just make sure you get enough storage space. I typically recommend 500 gigs. I would love this laptop 849. I think this is a great deal. Obviously, if you have even less money to spend, then we're looking for something like this. This is actually not a bad setup. Lenovo IdeaPad gaming laptop with an RTX 3050 Ti here. Ryzen 5600H, so it's a slightly older CPU. Probably going to be absolutely fine. Again, 500 gigs of SSD space. This is on super sale right now. I was actually expecting this one to be a little bit more expensive, but 772 is a really, really good price for it. I wouldn't wait. I would just go ahead and snap it up. If you're looking to get into 1080p gaming with all kinds of different games, this is a really, really good option. And then honestly, I was scrolling through HP and this is probably a super sale right now. So hopefully this cross your fingers. This is still available when you're watching the video. Honestly, if it's not, I'll find other good deals. 659 is kind of like really, really super low. Ryzen 5600H, this is for an HP Victus gaming laptop from HP's website. Pretty good CPU on it. And it's got the Radeon 6500M. Now this is a more powerful GPU than the GTX 1650 Ti or 1650. Quite a bit more powerful. Not as powerful as the 3050, 3050 Ti though. But honestly for 659, what do you want right now? 16 gigs of RAM, that was pretty surprising honestly. And a 512 gig SSD rounding it out. This is a phenomenal value. I don't know if you can find them this cheap. This is probably the floor. So you're looking to spend somewhere between $650 and $1,000 on your laptop. Remember, check out those links down in the video description for the best deals going on right now. We will keep them updated. And if you got value out of the video, please give it a like. It makes a huge difference to the channel. Good luck in your laptop hunt, and we'll catch you on the next one.